Hey, this is your boy, Dr. Boyce Watkins, the People's Scholar, and I'm listening to my homeboy, Vigilante, on Tell It Like a T.I. Is Radio. So make sure you tune in every day, because this is where it's going down. You already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Riz, and when I'm not listening to the Thrill Mixtape, I'm in tune to Tell It Like a T.I. Is. What it do is your boy, LB Graphics, 5-1 Vision. When I'm taking a break from the music videos and the graphics, I'm checking out my big homie, Vig. Tell it like a T R E S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on, y'all? This is Vigilante for ReasonForRhymes.com. Tell it like a T I is. Doing a quick blog, real quick. And um, I want to talk about the situation with Chris Brown. A lady is accusing him or his entourage of assaulting her. And of course, TMZ, as usual, on the scene, somehow with footage, and I mean surveillance footage, and they are pointing out the situation. They show Chris Brown, show the phone on the ground, and all these good things. Matter of fact, let me get some Star and Buck Wild type stuff on. Let me applaud TMZ asses. <laughs> applaud them, please, because somehow they can find every single footage and every single thing. They get it first, and hell, if they was popping like this, I wish they could let us know about Tupac and Biggie. Good Lord, they on the scene for every damn thing. It's crazy. But here's the here's the thing I want to talk about real quick. I ain't going to hold your ears too long. First off, let's go from a fan perspective. Why, to it, in, I mean, to this day, do fans run at the stars who obviously can be assholes sometimes? I'm not saying Chris is. I'm saying... They get treated bad. I, I, you know, because I've been behind the scenes, I see it. A lot of the fans come in, you know, falling in love with the singer or the rapper, want to be a part of them. It's a great experience. And most humble cats, you know, they let you have that. You know, they got certain rules that, hey, you can't have no phone on there. I don't know what happened, but it looked like it happened pretty fast. And it looked like it happened when Chris walked up there. But then again, Chris could have been just coming from where he's coming from and just walk right into it. But, you know, there's slight speculation. I don't think there's going to be too much coming out of this. But I just want to say to fans, it's okay to like your favorite star. But, man, you got to understand, man, a lot of these stars, they can give a damn about you. It's a business. They moving on. Some of them are. Chris does a lot of things in the community and, and you know, for his community and for young people. I've seen Chris when he's out and about. He'll take pictures and dance and have fun. So I'm not going to blame this on Chris. But I just say sometimes you just got to know where that line is. Enjoy what you see. And when you push the envelope to get closer and you don't follow the rules, stuff happens. Stuff happens. And for Chris Brown, the second part of this, and his posse, man, don't do that in Denver. Damn, ask Kobe. Don't do that in Denver, man. You just just do your show and get the home. No, I wouldn't even bring no fans on my bus. No, um, I just couldn't take a chance. Chris, you got to be not that you got to walk on water, but you got to walk on water. Because why? Because you are a target regardless. You are a target. You are a target of perception. If your name mixed to it, then it must be something. This is not a story unless they connect your name to it. You know, the police say we'll, uh, uh, Chris Brown and his posse are persons of interest. Of interest. Why? Because that sounds better for the headline. You know, so you may not have nothing to do with it. Maybe walk right into time. Because I've seen stars who walk into something, don't know what's going on, and then all of a sudden the entourage want to get very brolic and get tough and act like that. And sometimes stars don't even know what's going on, and they just roll with it. Whatever it is, man, let this be a lesson, people. Two ways. Stars, you got to watch your step nowadays. Everything can be recorded. And that's why I guess you want the people wanted the phone from her. And it didn't look like much of nothing. It looked like maybe they may push off the bus or whatever. And that was it. But I ain't seen nothing crazy. And so it is what it is. That fan need to learn a lesson. Hey, they didn't want the phones on there. That's what it is. But be careful. And also, don't put too much stock in the music you fall in love with the conversation you see on radio and all these things because at the end of the day people have a persona they are they, it's show business they give you a lot of show they give you a lot of show just enjoy the song for what it's worth enjoy that you got a few snaps leave it at that this has been Vigilante for Tell It Like a T.I. Is and ReasonForRhymes.com Short blog edition. 
Just want to throw that out because it's topical news. We th- we will throw entertainment news out to get things popping. So don't think, well, well, why is that? I hear a lot of people on board's page talk about, well, why is this important? This is old. Let me tell y'all something, people, uh, on board's Watkins page. It's like this. If TMZ puts something out and it's on today's headline and other sites put things out, we can do the same thing. Plus, Chris Brown is a black man. And most of the time, he's a target and he can't get out of his own shadow of the things he did when he was a young kid. He's still a young guy. So if I view that that's topical, I'm putting it out there. Whether you think it's three or four um, days old or that's old news like they said about one of our blogs, it don't matter. We're going to put it out there anyway for the ones that do want to talk about that situation and see my perspective on it. My perspective is that sometimes the fans get caught up in the hype so much and fall in love and not understand that this is a business. Sometimes the stars can be so caught up and not realize that the fans are the people that's paying their way. And you have to somehow meet in the middle. But I know when any time drama comes, when it comes to stars, TMZ is on the scene. I'm out. Peace.